So you too, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Raven here with another video. And Tim Tebow, he is back. Well, not officially yet, but they said in about the next week or so, Tim Tebow is going to be signing a one-year deal with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, initially, when I first heard this story a few weeks ago, that Tim Tebow was working out with the Jacksonville Jaguars at tight end, I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> like, look, man, you, you you played in the NFL for about three years and some change because um, he played for the Broncos and he played for the Jets. And I think that was it. And we've seen Tim Tebow, like especially in college, we've seen him run some people over and whatnot. But, but running people over as a quarterback versus running people over as a tight end is a bit different. It's a little bit different. Like with a quarterback, a lot of people don't expect it. But with a tight end, they like bracing for it. But anyway, hey, we'll see. Because if somebody's a baller, they're a baller and they can do different things. So I'm very interested to see what happens with Tim Tebow. But a couple weeks ago when he had the whole workout, I didn't really think anything of it. The first thing that really popped up in my head was, oh, man, Tim Tebow must be jealous. He must be jealous that he ain't going to be the guy getting all the spotlight in Central Florida. Oh, no. It's going to be Trevor Lawrence because he's getting ready to take over for the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Tim Tebow, things just, we always say timing is everything. And he just so happens to want to make a comeback now when Urban Meyer just so happens to be the head coach and Urban Meyer just so happened to be his head coach back in Florida. And all of a sudden now Tim Tebow like, oh, I want to come back to the NFL. After all these years, oh, I want to come back to the league. So coincidence? I, I think not. But, <laughs> you know, Trevor Lawrence got to be sitting back chilling. He looking at his pictures of himself in his new little 16 jersey. Oh, man. Yeah, I look good. I look great. Wow. I'm, I'm even prettier than my wife is. Huh? Oh, but then, boom. He sees that Tim Tebow coming back. What is he trying to take my shine? What is he trying to steal my spotlight? And it, it's, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen with this whole thing. It's not like Tim Tebow is an absolute lock to make the team or anything. But you got to feel like Urban Meyer probably told him to hit him up like, Tim, I got you. Don't worry about what none of these analysts say. Don't worry about any of these critics, anything like that. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Trust me. You coming with me, I got you. You know, I had you back in the day. I used to pay you when you was in college. Well, I got you now. Now I can pay you legally. Anyway, because the Jacksonville Jaguars, their current tight ends, they got Davis, Ellison, uh, Minerts, and uh, Shognessy. So not any names that are really jumping out there at you, but at the same time, their tight ends. Tim Tebow was a quarterback who it didn't quite work out so well. Then he went off to play baseball for a little while. Then he was a commentator for a little bit too. So he's he's sort of one, been one of them jack of all trades. Hasn't quite mastered anything yet. Well, in college he did. In college he was, he was over there killing it with the Gators. And then that dude had like weapons here, there, everywhere. But now he's trying to come back to the league. Like... The league ain't easy. And then for Tim Tebow, for him actually getting a second chance after not making it the first time. Like, this is this is a big opportunity for him. Because after you don't make it in the NFL the first time, a lot of people don't get a second chance. And on top of that, to be changing positions as well, to be trying out for an, at a new position, that's pretty big, man. That's when you know you got some plugs in the league. Again, Maya. <laughs> Maya. He, put, he putting them on. So we'll see what happens with Tim Tebow. Um, and I just, this is going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. I, I, I'm, I'm super excited to see if this thing actually works. Can he catch? Can he catch the football like consistently? And even if he is out there, you got to feel like they may almost, um, you almost feel like they may even force him, force feed him the ball. Not like they're going to be throwing to him like, uh, like 30 times a game, anything like that. Even like he's going to have like five catches a game, but you almost feel like when he's out there, oh, will he just be a distraction? Because people see a team, and, and you know the fans, boy. This is almost like one of those moves where this is this will help uh, ticket sales too. This could be a big business move because it is in the in the area that he went to school in in Central Florida. So Jaguars, like they Jaguars fans, were already hyped enough getting Trevor Lawrence. They already hyped enough getting him, but now you add Tim Tebow to the mix too. And then you got the possibility for trick plays and all. Oh, you know, Trey Walls fans got to be super hyped about this move, man. Super hyped. But we'll see how it all works itself out. So anyway, like Tim Tebow no longer is when it comes to the NFL, I'm out.